Hi, I'm Martin Coulthard. I'm a tech entrepreneur by background and I'm talking tonight about uh, Lean Startup, which is a new approach to business strategy which has emerged in the last couple of years. So one of the problems with innovative businesses, they come up with a great new plan and historically they'll often invest a huge amount of money, huge amount of time in trying to develop that product and get it out to market. And then they might find that actually it doesn't work. The market doesn't want to pay for it or the product's not right. It's not a good product to market fit. So Lean Startup is about trying to um, come up with a hypothesis um, related to that plan and then test it as early as possible. It's about finding a path to a plan that works as quickly as possible. Um, it was, it, it's emerged at the start of 2011 from a guy called Eric Rice, who wrote a book called Le The Lean Startup, based upon his experiences in web-oriented startups in, in the USA, and really just trying to evolve a new approach to business that works to, to come up with a, a good product market fit and a successful business, and avoided the something like nine out of 10 startup businesses that fail. Up until now, it's pretty much been intuition. You come up with a plan, uh, you try and execute it, you have intuition on whether you should uh, continue with it or give it up. So this is about trying to get some methodology to apply to that situation. It's about trying to stress test the plan or the hypothesis based on that plan as soon as possible so that the business people can make the right decisions as quickly as possible, make corrections, make changes to come up with a successful business product offering a business model. The one way it's defined is to say it's a rigorous process for iterating from plan A to a plan that works. Most times plan A simply doesn't work for a business. You have to change, you have to evolve um, to get to a successful situation. It uses quite a lot of terminology and jargon. So we use the term hypothesis. So people come up with a business idea. One way to think of it is as a hypothesis, a little bit like a scientific hypothesis. It may or not may not be true. So Lean Startup is about trying to test that hypothesis as soon as possible to find out whether it's correct or not, rather than investing for a lot of money, a lot of time, until you eventually find out that hypothesis is incorrect. It's about trying to get focused so that you can take the right actions uh, at the right time for the business. It's actually emerged, as with many of these business ideas, from a range of pre earlier ideas. The two main ones related to um, the iteration loop, sometimes called the OODA loop. It's about observe, orient, decide and act. So you're in a situation, you look at what's around you, you think about it, you make a decision, you take some actions and then you will typically um, make some changes based upon what you've learned from that situation. If you can go around that loop quickly, observe, orient, decide, act, change, and then observe again, you can make corrections and you, you can improve quickly. So that's one idea, the OODA loop. The second idea is lean manufacturing, or TPS, the Toyota production system. So that's an idea that, that emerged from Toyota over the past decades. Sometimes it's referred to as lean manufacturing. It's about removing waste. It's about making continual improvements to continuously get better at what you're doing until you're really optimizing the process. So Lean Startup kind of took those ideas and some other ones, baked them together and put them in the context of cloud-based computing, web-based businesses, which can change and evolve very quickly due to the nature of them. Um, they put those ideas into, a, into a, a loop where you build, measure, learn very quickly. Um, and what they found was when you, if you're in a position where you can, um, you can go through that loop extremely quickly, you can accelerate the learning about the business and make improvements much more rapidly than was the situation previously. The core, one of the core ideas is the number of iterations beats the quality of the product or the, the, the quality of the process at that, that time. Um, so one of the key ideas is finding the most effective way to validate the hypothesis. That's based upon a, a concept called minimum viable product. Doesn't have to be a great product, a great service, but get it out there as soon as possible, get the feedback from the customers and then make improvements so that you can, you can get, get better results. So those are the iterations about the evaluation based on your minimum value pro viable product and what you learn from the market um, about that. 
it may be that just incremental improvements aren't going to take you to a successful business. And then there's another idea comes in, which is called pivoting. And that's when you're going to make a substantial change to the whole business model, the whole strategy. So you can see this combination of quick, fast loops that incrementally improve the business to pivoting to a completely different strategy. Um, between those two, generally you can arrive at a successful business model much more quickly than you can otherwise. So in summary, that's, that's the, the core of the lean startup idea and it's one of the most popular business ideas at the moment.